Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for tuning in. Sorry there haven't been many videos over the summer. I've been taking a bit of a break and I've been out enjoying myself in the car. You've probably seen that on our Instagram page, so give that a follow if you haven't done so already. But in the meantime, as you can see, I've been shopping, buying things that I probably didn't need. So in the name of good content and entertainment for you guys, let's get started. I already have these clear sort of tinted tail lamps on, on my car. These were an optional extra, but they were fitted as standard to the GTS and they're known as the GTS tail lights. They're getting quite common in the 981 community. Now my car came with these ordinary red lenses originally, it didn't come with these. Um, and the reason I swapped them out actually was because I wanted to kind of break up the sea of red in the car. On another colour, I think they look fine, but on, on red it just didn't work for me. But then an opportunity came up and if I'm honest it's something that I'd probably always wanted but I'd never found them before. So this is the third tail light option available for the 981. These were fitted to the Spider and the GT4 and they're a, a slightly darker red, they're, they're tinted. So pretty subtle but the reason I've gone for them is they're going to complement the ducktail, the black badging and they're going to make my car a little bit more unique. So these tail lights are really easy to get out. You open the, the luggage area, you take off this cover from the inside here, and there's just one bolt holding them in. And then it's just a case of finding a way to push them out. This hole under the wheel arch, you can put an Allen key or something similar in there to give you a bit of leverage and push the light up. Definitely a little bit of a struggle getting them out, but yeah, I think it looks really good. And yeah, I've moved the badge again. I don't know why, call it whatever you will, I just, it didn't work for me. It didn't sit quite right. If I was to do it again, I think I would take account of the fact that I don't have a spider badge underneath and it's just Porsche, so I would, I would have brought it down ever so slightly. But I just think it was maybe trying too hard and I, and I do prefer it back up there. Let's do the next one.
For those of you who don't have automatic wipers, uh, you can see here the integrated rain sensor is actually installed under the screen. It's fitted to all cars, so it's just a case of having it enabled at either the dealer or a Porsche specialist. And there you have it, a Porsche Fameless Mirror. Now this one came from the 718, but they were also fitted to the 991.2 generation. Now I admit, not a particularly interesting or, or value adding mod, but I think they are a little bit cleaner, a bit more modern. This one to me, always kind of overwhelmed the space a little bit. It's too much plastic on it, and it, and it was almost too big for the, the smaller cabin in the 981, so I'm glad I've done it. Pretty cheap, you can pick these up for 50, pounds, $60, whatever, wherever you are. What do you think? Before we go to the final pointless mod, I need to give a shout out to JF Ego for sending me this little device. It's really useful. It's basically a wireless tire compressor, so it's really good. You don't have to run cables from your power out that's in the cabin any longer. It's been pretty handy to use on the car for checking and maintaining pressures. I've even used it on my mountain bike with the Presta valves and for my other forms of transport as well. It's also a wireless jump starter if you run out of battery. Pretty handy in the Porsche community, I would have thought. It's got a LED display on the side, two little USB outlets, and a light which flashes, etc. should you need to use it. Comes in its own little bag. You charge it either in the AC in the wall or using the power outlet in your car. So a really handy little device. I thought I'd give them a mention. You can check it out on their website or on Amazon. And last up on our list of pointless mods are these parking cameras. Tell me, when did we become so reliant on this technology? I mean, what happened to using your mirrors and the power of faith to get into parking spaces? I don't know. Either way, I've gone ahead and bought a rear one and a front one. And there really is no excuse in my case because I've even got parking sensors, at the rear at least. But at the front of the car, I don't have any sensors. And so this little camera might actually be quite useful. It will stop me potentially scraping the bumper and I'll just be able to judge distances that little bit better. So let's go ahead and check out how we can install this. The best place for the front camera is here, right under the number plate. It's pretty discreet. In terms of fitment, there's already a little hole there right in the center. So hopefully we can feed the wire through there. And obviously the Joy Auto unit that we installed earlier makes this job very easy. The cameras connect straight into it and uh, they are visible on your PCM. You just have to enable them in the settings. So the challenge is we'll have to install the front camera and then find a way to run the cables up under the plastic along existing looms if possible. And then we'll need to find an entry point through the firewall there to get down to the Joy Auto unit. From my research there are a few different routes in through the firewall. With a little bit of help from the community, I've established that because I have a PDK car, there is a blanking plate for where the clutch pedal on a manual car would be installed. So let's check that out. So if you're a manual owner, look away now, but this is a blanking plate in a PDK car, which is great news for me. So I think what we'll do is we'll feed the cable through there and then under the center console and over to the unit. Well, check this out, look how easily it comes off. Daylight. And I'm going to end the video there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to cover the front install and the rear install in a separate video because there's just too much to fit in. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like and remember to subscribe for more enhancements to the car. And I'm going to be doing some reviews soon as well. I might be getting my hands on our 991 Turbo, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.